Hi everyone, Lolly here. It's Tag Tuesday. Tag Tuesday is an open collaboration hosted by Sherry over at Turquoise Dreaming, and I'll have the link to her channel down below. And in her link, when you click on that, you'll go to her channel. You will see all of the links to the participants for Tag Tuesday. So you want to make sure you go over and watch everybody's channels. Give them some likes and um, subscribe. There's a lot of talent there. So um, I really enjoy watching everybody and being inspired by everybody that's on that. So tonight I want to talk a little bit about, um, you know, on our tags, we want to always be able to write on the back normally. Um, so you can draw the lines or you can have it blank like this, but I just wanted to like mention things like, I'm going to use this one tonight. This was the packaging. Sorry about the glare. Um, for some stickers that I bought, but it has these really cool lines on it. Now I can't write that small, but you could write every other line or something. Um, sometimes just find a piece of scrapbook paper that has lines on it and you can put that on the back of your tag. So, um, I have stamped, but sometimes it doesn't cover the whole area on the back. Um, and I'm not a big stamper, so it's not my first, um, thought to grab that and stamp the back of a tag, but let's see if I can get this. So this has really cool lines on it. So I thought it would be nice to have it on the back. Um, it is a little shiny, but I think with the regular pin, I wouldn't use like a gel marker or something on there, but um, we're gonna try and see what it looks like. Normally I would use a spray adhesive, but I'm in the craft room and it's late tonight. So um, I'm just going to use some double-sided tape to put this on the back. So let me cut these into tag shapes and we'll go from there. Okay, so I cut out this little piece from the sticker package and I'm going to back this tag. Came out kind of long and skinny after I cut it because I cut it originally to go to make the tags out of these, but I think the back of these have, even though it's just an imprint, would be great lines for writing on. So I wasn't gonna cover those up after all. So after I had already cut the little cardboard, this is what I came up with. So I have that. And then I found another piece of scrap paper <clears throat> that is a crossword puzzle. And um, I think that would make a really nice place to write a little story on and you already have the lines there. Um, so I think that's really cute. So I'm going to use that for the second tag. So I'm going to just use the double-sided tape and so let me finish this and I'll get right back. Okay, so I put just a few strips of tape on the back of each one. So this is the top here and this is the top. Just get to line it up as best I can once it's stuck. So here I missed a little bit. So that's okay. We'll just trim it up. And this one, let's see if I can do a better job. All right. Okay, I took them over to the guillotine cutter and trimmed them up a little bit, but it's a large one, so it's over there on another table. All right, so let's see what we can do with these. Let's, of course, we're going to ink them. I don't want around these. I do want around the corners. Let's see. I think it's going to end up looking more like a bookmark, <laughs> but that's okay. Long skinny tags are good to put in pockets of uh, like tra um, traveler's notebooks because they're a little bit skinnier um, books. So, 
Anyway, I always look through my scrapbook uh, paper whenever I get a new one. That way, if something on there, like sometimes there's a 12 by 12 page and it has lines on it because it was made to put in a scrapbook. And if you just take that and you cut it up into tag shapes whenever you're making a tag, then you right away have lines to put on the back of your tags. Of course, you can always back it with index cards that have the lines on it. Those are easy to do as well. Okay, so I inked that up there. All right, so those are pretty just like that. And of course, since we're going to write on the back, we don't really want to put too much on the front of it um, so that it will lay flat so that you can write on it. So... All right, and you know, when you have pretty paper, it does most of the work for you, so you don't have to really work too hard at making something really pretty. So, ink the edges, um, put the backing on here, and I'll find some ribbon. So in my little bucket there with different lace pieces in there, I found this, so I'm gonna see if I can, maybe just put it down at the corner of each one. See how that's going to look. Or maybe up here. No, I think I want to just add one to each tag. All right. I splurged on these scissors for myself. They are so huge. I think they're like 11 inch blades or something. Gosh never had a pair like that and they are so sharp and they're so nice I definitely need to get a pair for paper it's one chop and <laughs> you've got that much uh, fabric or lace so all right I'm waiting for the hot glue gun to warm up so I can put those little rosettes at the bottom. Okay, so I have dug through my little box of just bits and pieces and I'm going to put this on here. And then this Right here's a little bit plain so I'm going to just add some layers here now the tag is pretty just like it is with just the paper like that but I want to try just to give it a few more layers and so I cut down the lace a little bit more so I get some, rid of some of those strings and what I'm going to do is use the stem from this flower <coughs> To make it look like this is a flower in itself. So we're going to put that on there. Put this on the back of the flower. Raise it up a little bit. Okay, I keep going back and forth with <laughs> a lot of things trying to figure out what I want to do. But I am going to put a little flat back in here. If I write it on, I'm going to have to just raise these this part of the card up. So I went over the little flat back here with my ink just to take some of the shine out. I didn't want it so glittery um, since the rest of the card was more of an antique look. So here you are. All right, so I tied the bow here, which is a little piece of string, so I didn't have to tie that lace. It's kind of thick. I do want a big old bloppy knot up there. So I found this butterfly, so I'm like, oh well, so much for keeping this flat. 
but um I just can't just can't stop <laughs> um that's what happens when you dig in a box of stuff you haven't been in in a long time so you just want to put everything on there so could have put that up there could still put another one maybe um Why not? We'll just go for it. All right. So, still, if you were going to write on it, you would just put something underneath there. I don't have anything right here, but I still think you'd be able to write on it. Otherwise, um, you know, it would just look pretty in your book just like that. So, um, so there's that one. So let's make a matching one. Always need to make them in twos. So I found this little envelope here. I have to cut it down a little. Okay. I'm gonna lay that. It's a little bit bigger than on our other card, but that's okay. So now we need the stem that we're going to cover with the flowers. I think I'm just going to put this on there. And again, you can put everything flat so that it's easier to write on. But there are tags that you can just put a picture on the back and just write the date. And of course, you can still do that with this one when it's raised. Um, oops. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put that on here and then we're going to put our little lace piece on top. And I'm going to trim this one like I did the last one. And there we go. We can glue that right inside there. I think I am going to ink this just a little more. I don't want to shake the camera and it's going to shake. It's attached to the table that I'm working on. Okay, so... this little guy here and again we'll get a little bling here color I think I put the purple one on here we'll make them match okay so little ink just so that it doesn't shine so much Right, so here's my little ball of twine. I'm gonna cut it a little long so my fingers will fit around here better to make a bow. Alright. So I think tags are I mean just a great way to express your creativity, right? Your your thoughts and of course, how you, you had these same materials, you would do them differently than I would, but um, I think that's the fun in it, right? You have this little palette just to be so creative on, and if you're doing a theme for your journal, then that's always fun to make it match that. So I just think they're a wonderful way to just express a little creativity, have a little fun. Sometimes when I can't think of what I want to do then I'll just do an ATC or I'll do a tag just because um, it's just this little little palette <laughs> and you can just create such fun little works of art on there so, so don't ever let anybody tell you that it's that it's not art it's not creative because it surely is. This is a package of butterflies I bought at Dollar Tree a long time ago. I spent hours today going through this huge tote that I have full of stickers and I didn't even know what was in there so just decided it was time. These are gold shiny so they don't really distress easily. Um, I'm gonna put that here. I have a blue one. And the flower has a little blue in it, so I think I'm going to put that 
right down here with that one. All right. I'll put some pictures at the end so you can see a close up. Not the thought I had when I started here. I thought I was going to just make it just the scrapbook paper and be done with it. But you know how we can't just leave well enough and alone and we just want to keep creating. So thanks for joining me for Tag Tuesday. Make sure you go over to Sherry's channel and check out her videos and everyone else that is participating in the um, Tag Tuesday collaboration. Um, lots of great talent over there and you'll want to see every one of them. So thanks again for joining me. You guys take care and I'll see you in the next video.